Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Barry, and I'm here to encourage you all to take advantage of the study abroad opportunities here at Winthrop. Winthrop University offers semester and summer long opportunities, as well as short term faculty led trips. There are also several financial aid opportunities, and trust me, faculty are committed to helping all students step out of their comfort zones. Each May, I lead a trip called Culturally Diverse Teaching Experiences in the Dominican Republic, and these have been some of my most impactful and memorable times here at the university. Studying abroad opens endless doors. Students have the opportunity to travel and live in a new culture, which allows them to see their studies from new perspectives. What are successful methods to connect with students who speak different languages? How might physical education look different in a rural mountain community, in a small village on the beach? Studying abroad doesn't just answer these questions. It allows students to experience working collaboratively to find real world solutions. Studying abroad will set you apart in the job market and provides the perfect platform to uncover new passions and opportunities for growth. Most importantly, studying abroad is really fun. Winther will miss you while you are gone, but you may be surprised that some of your most memorable and impactful college experiences happened outside of our classroom walls. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Christy Schofer and I'm the department chair in the PESH department. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I wanted to bring you greetings for Winthrop's Family Week. Although our new virtual reality looks a little bit different this year, I wanna make sure you know that we are doing everything we can to keep your students engaged in both our campus community and in our classrooms. I certainly hope we have the chance to meet each other in person, perhaps as early as the spring semester. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful virtual visit and enjoy the Family Week activities. Each program in the Physical Education, Sport, and Human Performance Department at Winthrop University engages students with practical field experience in each of our disciplines. The field experiences that I've completed here at Winthrop throughout my career have really prepared me for my senior internship, which I'm currently in. And it's been a very collaborative process throughout each level as it gets more difficult and more control and the classroom gets turned over from your host teacher that you're with to you as the intern. It's a very collaborative process through, from not only you yourself as the student and your mentor teacher, but also the faculty here at Winthrop in the PEAT department. And I feel it uh, does a very good job of preparing you for what you're going to see in the internship early on through the field experiences, but also they prepare you for what you're going to see in the real world here at Winthrop and you never feel like you're left out on an island by yourself. You've always got your mentor teacher and the faculty here at Winthrop to fall back on. So it does a very good job of preparing you and keeping you feeling like you're very well supported. Hello, my name is Hunter Shears. I'm a recent graduate of the University of Texas Science program. And I just want to talk a little bit about my experience in the internship program and, and the value that I was able to get from it. Um, so just, you know, entering in the internship program was fantastic for me as far as learning how to apply the information that I took in the classroom and applying it to the real world. Um, I was able to use, you know, information from multiple courses, from strength conditioning, exercise physiology, anatomy, and translate all that information into my experience being a strength conditioning coach. I was able to enter in the field and get started right away. I'm a senior sport management major and I'm doing my internship at the City of Rock Hill Parks and Recreation and Tourism Department. This is a great opportunity for me to network and get my foot in the door for any potential job opportunities that I want in the future. Um, I was able to meet multiple people that have connected me to other people and been able to build that network in that way ever since I started working here last year. I received multiple certifications through the knowledge and skills I learned in this program. Additionally, I was able to attend the CESM conference, which is a popular conference in our field. 
multiple times and I was able to present research on yoga as a student presenter in the leadership and diversity training program. And so I can say that these experiences have positively shaped my professional development and that I was able to transition smoothly into the workforce because of them. Hi, my name is Cameron Martin. And uh, as a PET student, we get access to clinical experiences to help us in our field. And as an athletic training student, I've been lucky enough to part with the with, uh, Winthrop team for lacrosse and softball to learn clinical evaluation skills and to help manage uh, their injuries and uh, rehabilitation along with them to make sure that we get the best experience for our athletes as possible. So when I first started on the education experience, the last thing that I really thought about was advocating on a professional level for a physical activity. And uh, one thing that we get to do in these classes is we get to learn about uh, how to advocate for our field and for physical activity. And the good thing about it is we actually, we don't get to do it just in a book. We actually get to go uh, and practice this in the field. So last year we got to go to Washington, D.C and meet with members of our representatives in Congress and advocate for physical activity and actually get to do it uh, and with an experience. And it's important to learn this stuff because right now the people who are advocating for physical activity are PE teachers that are teaching or uh, PE uh, professors in college. So in a couple years, you know, it'll be us, the students in the field, that are having to advocate for it. And so now that we have that experience of already doing it from the classes and from going to D.C., it makes you better prepared uh, for when you're in the field and when it's your turn to advocate for it. My name is Meredith Howie and I'm a senior here at Winthrop University in the exercise science program. The reason why I enjoyed the lab so much is because it gives you a chance to participate in real life situations and use that towards your future career, whether that's exercise science, biology, or anything of that nature. Another reason why I really enjoyed the labs here is because you're using actual real equipment. It's not just you being taught a lesson and taught how to use something, you actually get to put the equipment to use. And that's why I love the labs here at Winthrop University. Hey y'all, my name is Lindsay and I'm a recent exercise science graduate. Through my time at Winthrop, student organizations were a big part of my student identity and through them, I was able to experience a lot of personal growth that made me a better leader, friend, peer, communicator, classmate, and student. The experiences that I have and the memories that I made and the people that I met around campus was truly amazing and something I wouldn't trade for anything. Hey guys, my name is Jeff Morrow and I coordinate the base construction program and an outdoor leadership minor here at Winthrop. Um, I'm also an alumni of Winthrop and having been here for 10 years, I can speak to the, the mission that Winthrop has to create well-rounded students. And one way in which we give students the opportunity to, to, to reach that potential is through taking one of our um, base construction physical activity classes. I'm so thankful for the classes that I had at Winthrop, classes like risk management, uh, event management, and also my business and leadership classes. They all helped me to be a better worker in my internship, but also in the full-time job that I'm in now. One thing that truly makes Winthrop special are the relationships that are formed between our faculty and our students. Throughout their time at Winthrop, students have these, this opportunity to really get to know the faculty members on a personal level and to also develop some really cool relationships with their classmates. One thing that I like to always stress in my classes is the importance of fun. Through the effort of our faculty members, students develop an enjoyment and a passion for their field that can better equip them for entering real life beyond their time at Winthrop. Hi, 
with the friends, family, and loved ones. My name is Crystal Glover, and I am an Associate Professor of Early Childhood Education. Today, I'm going to share with you five tips for supporting your college student. Tip number one, stay in touch. Stay connected with your college student through phone calls, emails, texts, instant messages, and even snail mail. They may not always respond, but they will appreciate the connections to home. Tip number two, listen. Listen to what your college student has to say and validate their experiences. Today's college students are experiencing things that can be both frustrating and exciting. Allow your college student to express their feelings in a non-judgmental way. Tip number three, remind your college student to take advantage of the resources that Winthrop has to support them academically, physically, and emotionally. If after listening to your college student, you believe they would benefit from academic support, encourage them to meet with their academic advisor or have them check out the Academic Success Center and sign up for a tutor. If you think your college student needs a physical outlet, remind them that the West Center is open and available they can register for group fitness classes or even take a walk around our beautiful campus. Finally, if you think your college student needs emotional support, remind them that counseling services are available to them. All students have the option to enroll in telemental health services this semester. Counseling services are available to support the health and well being of all Winthrop students. Tip number four. Expect change. Yes, your college student is still the same person that you sent off to Winthrop, but it's natural and even inevitable that they'll change and grow during their college experiences. You can support them by being a steady presence they can depend on. And you may even be impressed with some of the changes. The last tip for supporting your college student is tip number five, have trust. Trust that what you have done to get your college student to this point is enough. Trust that they will make smart choices and use good judgment. And trust that even when they don't make the choices that you would prefer, that they learn from their experiences and they make better choices the next time. So those are our five tips for supporting your college students. Remember to stay in touch, to listen, to take advantage of Winthrop resources, to expect change and have trust.